Well, everybody, it's another Friday. Uh, told you I'd get back to you. We had a big surge in COVID cases, which I'll talk about in a moment. We also had an unfortunate occurrence on Martin Luther King Day, where there was a neighborhood uh, a ruckus that went on. We don't know really what the details were, uh, but in a neighborhood near Florida Tech, there were several shots fired, and two of them ended up damaging uh, vehicles that belonged to, uh, to to students. So didn't involve any Florida Tech people. Nobody was hurt. Uh, there were, uh, it's been investigated, still being investigated by Melbourne police. And luckily, our uh, none of our students or, or faculty or staff were affected, but it's still a little scary. But it was a neighboring neighbor you know, area, and unfortunately, we all live in, in this kind of, uh, of uh, environment at this point in time. But we try to keep it insulated away from us. That's why we have security. That's why they do a lot of patrolling. That's why they're, you know, despite the fact that uh, uh, it can lead to problems, they're, they're armed. Uh, and that's to discourage any, any infringement into our territory by any of the neighboring, neighboring areas. So uh, luckily nothing happens. The first time since I've been here, we had such a thing as that, and that's 18 years, but it did happen if you happen to read about it. Uh, in terms of COVID, good news and bad news. And, and the good news is it's still a, uh, the cases of, of Omicron are, are still very mild. It is similar to a, not even a bad cold, similar to a cold. Um, and, uh, you know, last week we had an, an all time high of, of, uh, uh, COVID-19 cases. We had, I think 167. Uh, today we're, we're, we're down, uh, a factor of three or so. We're in the sixties of students, staff, and faculty. So, uh, you know, it's, it's dropping rapidly. Uh, I think, uh, it'll disappear from our campus in a, in a few weeks, hopefully it'll keep going down at least a factor of two every week. It takes a while to get rid of it completely, but, and the good news is the illnesses that have uh, developed uh, of the people that have perceived uh, uh, COVID-19 have not been severe at all. The Omicron is not as severe. The only, in fact, even for individuals uh, with uh, conditions and and uh, or or aged or whatever, the probability that they would actually perish uh, is greater from most of the flus than it is from from Omicron. So uh, doesn't mean you want it. And uh, we wish those uh, students, faculty, and staff that have it to return to campus. In fact, they were returning so quickly and recovering so quickly, we're having trouble keeping up with the real numbers. Uh, the number today is greatly reduced because they're out three, four, five days. Five days is what we require, and they're back full up, full health. So uh, I get, you know, I've said many times I'm sick of talking about uh, COVID-19, but it's still an issue on this campus for this point in time. Um, our board meetings next week, uh, it's always, uh, you, we usually refer to it as hell week, and uh, it, uh, uh, it isn't really. It's enjoyable to interact with our trustees and and, and share with them some of the things we're trying to accomplish on campus. So, uh, you know, we're going to stay the course, stay with our protocols, make sure people wash their hands and stay away from their face and wear their mask, uh, their hands away from their face, wear their mask, and don't get into large groups. So we're continuing to march. I think this will disappear rather quickly, but until it does disappear, you're still going to hear about it from me every Friday. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.